we have new images of interstellar object slash whatever it is, 3i Atlas, and it looks very strange, guys. The new images, we see at least seven jets shooting material out in different directions. We were waiting to see if this object would seem to maneuver as it got closer to the sun or do anything. What's the verdict there? Well, thanks for having me. It did maneuver. Uh, it deviated from uh, the path that uh, we would have expected it to go through if its uh, trajectory was sculpted by gravity alone. And uh, the amount of boost to its velocity uh, was equivalent to a, a jet carrying five billion tons of matter that would give it a recoil. 3i Atlas is an interstellar visitor, it's definitely alien, it's not coming from our solar system, hopefully an alien rock. So it comes from outside our solar system and the 3i means it's the third confirmed interstellar object after 1i Oumuama, I have problem saying that, sorry, and 2i Borisov. Borisov, do not Mix that up with the recent Borisov. There's another one that they discovered. I've made a video about this, whether the two are connected, 3i Atlas and the new Borisov object. Link is in the description of this video. It's in the, it's in the end screen. So 3i Atlas passed by the sun, its perihelion closest point on October 29th. It shows still very unusual features. We're adding to the anomalies basically every day. We have 10 or 11, now I think we have 12, and it doesn't behave like a regular comet. Now, as of this morning, uh, some observers noticed uh, that it has a sequence, a set of jets around it, uh, more than seven. Uh, some headed uh, towards the sun, some away from the sun. It's a spectacular view that we have right now after it passed closest to the sun on October 29th. Mm -hmm. uh, it became yeah. bluer than the sun. Uh, it uh, was uh, five times brighter than it was before it came close to the sun. Wow. So the action is happening yeah. right now and in the coming days and weeks, we should learn much more about it. Uh, so that's where things get really interesting in light of what we know now, what we see on these new images. On November 8th, astronomers stacked a number of exposures of 3i Atlas and they found some remarkable structure. Here's what they found, a large glowing halo around the object extending to about half a million kilometers. And they found at least, at least seven distinct jets emanating from 3i Atlas, <laughs> that's crazy. So some of these jets are directed towards the sun, sunward, which is unusual, guys, because typical comet tails point away from the sun. And because of the many jets and their directions, Howard professor Dr. Avi Loeb says, we've heard from him quite a few times because he's basically the one that is observing this the most, or at least is giving us the best information. So he says, if this is a natural comet ejecting mass to produce non-gravitational acceleration, like changing its trajectory by ejecting material, then more than 10 to 20 percent of its initial mass would have to have been thrown out when it was near perihelion. And that, that's a huge fraction for a natural comet. So we have discovered, they have discovered this non-gravitational acceleration of 3i Atlas. What exactly is this and why does this matter, especially with this, these seven jets that they have discovered? So non-gravitational acceleration means the object is accelerating or changing its trajectory um, in a way that cannot be explained by gravity alone. So for comets, for example, this can happen when ice supplements, like it turns into gas, and then jets of gas or dust, basically they, they push the body like a thruster. This is how they act. And for 3i Atlas, 
there is observed deviation in its motion that doesn't match purely gravitational models. So the combination of many jets and the discovered non-gravitational acceleration leads to strong questions. This is how we could word it. Is this simply a natural comet ejecting mass or could there be something else going on like artificial thrusters? Dr. Avi Loeb says, Professor Avi Loeb says, we, we have to look at this because if it's not just a piece of rock, then it has real consequences for Earth. If this is something else, he only gives it a 30 to 40% chance that it is something else, but that's quite high. Wouldn't you say? That's a risk. We should definitely look at the other possibility, even if we laugh at that. If it's natural to produce that acceleration that it displays via ejected mass, you'd expect a large portion of its body to be lost. It needs a large portion to be lost to create that acceleration. And maybe that would make a large cloud of debris around it. So the cloud of debris around 3i Atlas must represent a substantial fraction of its initial mass for it to be a natural comet. And we don't know yet if it has that or not. If instead it's artificial like a spacecraft, then you could get the required change in the momentum with way less mass, much less mass. If the ejected material is expelled at higher speed, like thrusters and engines would do, the typical comet ausgassing has lower ejection speeds like hundreds of meters per second, while chemical rockets might have three to five kilometers per second, and iron thrusters 10 to 50 kilometers per second, orders of magnitude higher. So why does this jet structure matter so much to us? So the question is, <laughs> is this network of jets from 3i Atlas simply ice pockets on a comet, or are they thrusters from a spacecraft? So what's the situation? Why is this even a possibility? We have many jets in many directions, not just the standard one tail steaming behind the comet. So is it like we have seven thrusters that are enabling the object to maneuver? Some jets are sunward, pointing towards the sun. Very unusual for the typical comet tail. If it's natural, huge mass loss is implied. If, art, if it's artificial, thrusters or directed jets could explain the acceleration with far less mass that 3i Atlas is displaying. And because of these ambiguities, Professor Loeb says, we can test whether it's natural or technological by measuring the outflow velocity, like the mass flux, how much mass is being ejected, and we can measure the composition of the jets, especially now that 3i Atlas is near the Earth and can be observed. So he says, let's do that. So where are we right now and why is this all such a big deal? 3i Atlas is passing through our solar system and we have the rare chance to observe this interstellar object quite intimately. Because it's exhibiting features that are unlike typical comates, at least 11 to 12 anomalies by now, every observation counts. And if it's natural, we might learn a lot about interstellar comate chemistry, formation of other star systems, and how such bodies behave. Super interesting. Well, if it's artificial, the implications are quite huge. If it's a possible probe or some sort of technological artifact from outside the solar system, maybe it's not, if it's just a piece of junk that's coming from the aliens, but that's all speculative, right? It definitely remains interesting. 
And if you want to know what the new object is doing, check the video here in the end screen. If you want to support the channel, guys, link is in the description. Like, hype, and subscribe, please, for more on the earth and in the sky. You're always on the pulse with me. And I would love to see you in a second if you click here in the end screen. Bye-bye.